Morning guys, so you may remember my earlier video, I had two problems with my data hoarding requirements. First off, the Apple share was not working, so it was difficult to make videos. I mean, honestly, it's one of those issues that I've had for like forever. And now, according to this guy, I needed to put in my, no, no, it's not an Apple share. It's a Windows share. I needed to add these options of, God, where is it hidden now? It's in a hidden in advanced mode. And then you have to select a couple of extra ones. You need to select Fruit and Katia. Katia, I don't know how to pronounce that. And then boom, now I can open my library hosted on my FreeNAS and the two kilobytes that I have on my MacBook Pro isn't gonna stop me from editing videos nowadays, which I am which I just don't get onto on the same day, if you know what I mean. So, yes! Mm. Mm. Second problem was just the off-site backup thing because I got stuff there that I only have one copy of. Excitedly, something came along on my radar. OVH has launched a data center in Singapore. I signed up. I wanted to use it. They even have an R-Sync backend, but a, I'm struggling to get the, the password correct. Um, they And the support is just absolutely non-existent. I got a call from a sales guy and he sent me like a like a whole bump of screenshots just to set up. But there, yeah, the control panel, I can't even log in right this morning. So OVH, improve your technical support and your control panel. And I might actually use your tantalizing offer, which I can't, can't get onto right now. Another thing um, I was talking about that I was trying to address in my last video was that when I back up to my offsite, I'm always worried that some local corruption is going to overwrite the good offsite copy. So what's the point of, of having an offsite copy if, if, if something goes wrong here and then it's just replicated over there? And furthermore, it's, it's a bit of a, secu it's a security issue that if, if basically um, your main machine, well, it's not going to happen, but anyway, it is an interesting, I think someone mentioned it here in this blog on Hacker News. It, it's a security issue that someone could basically disrupt your local data and of course it would just be replicated on your offsite. So he talks about append only. I guess that's what I'm after. I'm looking for append only. only. Um, but he proposed like a crazy solution with Rustic and people talk about Borg backup. Guys, I'm a suckless guy. I don't want to use thousands and thousands of lines of code for something that, that's sort of relatively simple in my mind. So the solution that I came up in my own mind was to maybe make the, the remote backups um, immutable in the sense that if I try rsync something that, that has been like, you know, as I mentioned in my folders, if, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm rsyncing something from like 2010 and all of a sudden there's some sort of change, it should stop, right? So I think there is like an immutable flag that I could use on the remote thing. I could have like a cron job that just adds it for anything older than, you know, XYZ days. I did uh, sort of experimenting with just using, creating manifests using SHA-256 sum and then you can like use uh, SHA-256 sum minus the switch minus C to check that the that the checksums are correct. So while I was doing that for some some of my files, the more important issue about backups sort of cropped up really because I noticed that there were some files there and and there's a there's a, there's a couple of hard drives here. I'll take a video. And some of the hard drives here I actually noticed that I forgot to copy some of the the folders over to that over to that one, so I've got like an old hard drive with like some potentially interesting data on it that I had failed to even copy a while back. So, so it made me thought think to myself like, never mind the whole backup process that I've got going. I'm not really uh, curating my data, and. It's, I mean, let's have a look at some of my data. I'm just going to open 
this this file of <laughs> all the checksums I made. I could have used MD5 some. I don't know why I used SHA256. SHA I was going a bit crazy. <sighs> There's some source code. I, I don't need to back up source code, do I? I so what I'm trying to say, it's probably going to be so many node modules here. There's two things I want to say. There's a lot of things I, I don't really need to back up. Secondly, um, I have this awful problem where I have some some copies of images. I have copies of images on one folder and copies on of images, and, and I, I might have like added metadata to the images. So the images are essentially the same, except maybe some metadata, and the, and the checksum is different, but the file name is the same. What I'm trying to say is, well, what I'm trying to say is, is that I need a program to pass these this, this sort of crazy long file, this, 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 these checksums, and tell me, like, I want to compute one of these things for each of my hard drives and, and machines. I want to basically compute, uh, given a blacklist of stuff I don't want to back up, I want to compute where my data is where and where the copies of data are, just using a SHA, a, a checksum manifest like this one. That's what I want to do. And another thing I, I, I failed to mention is that I did blog about data I want to keep. Like To be honest, I, I talk about backing up my images and videos a lot. And ultimately, I, I, I did write a blog earlier this year just saying that my images are on Flickr, basically paraphrasing here, my pictures are on Flickr, my pictures are on iPhotos. Do I really need to back them up or worry about a local copy? Because it, it drives me mental. Especially when, as I mentioned, you, you download an image and somehow the, the checksums don't align or something like that because you've got a different rendition of the image or something silly. <sighs> so what am I trying to back up? I, at the moment, I would honestly just say all the footage I take with this with this GH5 because it's big footage and it's not easy to put anywhere except my own local hard drives which you know are cheap so that's probably the main thing but at the same time I should make a, an effort to back up other stuff and I think I'm gonna use the manifest to do that but I just don't know of any good tooling to help me whittle down this manifest and and yet, as I, as I said earlier, just help me map out where things are so that I can have a strategy to put things in better places, if you know what I mean. And as a bonus, um, I can always check with like minus C uh, my manifest to see if, if the files have got the integrity that I want, right? Because if for some reason there's some corruption or I overwrite something and, and the manifest isn't updated, like I want to like basically have a the, the manifest will be basically in git control if you know what I mean so I, sh I should always have a good idea what's and a good history of that manifest if I keep it in git I don't know why git LFS is so unpopular I can't find a good hosting that does it uh, uh, back up cheap cheaply anyway I've rambled a lot but I think you understand what I'm what I'm after I'm after data curation now it's not about it's not about uh offside backups anymore it's about actually whittling it down my digital footprint to actually what bloody matters thanks for watching sorry this video got a bit long please like the video please subscribe bye bye guys have a great week